Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide I'm going to show you the ultimate guide to nature mint farming. So nature mints were a new item that were introduced within Sword and Shield. They allowed trainers now to change the nature on a Pokemon uh, without having to breed it just with the use of one of these items. Now uh, the, the kicker is these items come at a little bit of a cost. You can only buy them in the game with battle points that you can only get from playing uh, battles in Winden and that is a long grind or playing online. The online ranked battle ladder does reward players each and every month a set amount of battle points depending on where you finish where your rank is and then you can use those to spend on these sort of items. Uh, the problem is they cost a lot of battle points and I know a lot of players have a, a massive wealth of battle points so they never need to worry about this but if you're anything like me I get my 600 battle points at the end of every month, start of the new month, and then within a few days I have zero battle points left and I'm left waiting 20 odd days or more for my next batch of battle points to change certain Pokemon that I have waiting in my battle boxes to put in teams and things because uh, if you're anything like me I go out I catch a lot of Gigantamax Pokemon and you can't breed those so the only way to change their natures is through these items. Now I constantly am building new teams, testing teams and changing Pokemon in current teams so my need for nature mints is probably quite high and um, I know a lot of people won't be like that but I tend to like to change things like to test different things and so on and obviously all the Pokemon that you can't breed down as well especially if you've got a rare mark on a Pokemon you're not going to want to just put that in a box and never use it the rare marks are rare for a reason you know that is another reason why these mints are such a valuable and great item and even this month I literally spent all 600 battle points that I got from the previous month within literally two days and I have been waiting I've got a box full of Pokemon ready to be changed their natures changed and get them ready to put in teams coming up especially for series 5 now in this guide I'm going to show you an island that I came across where you can pretty much guarantee a mint every time you do this method and it's not just one mint on average I am pulling up two mints every time I reset which is pretty huge and this method you can do it within like one minute 26 seconds I clocked it in as a, a kind of an average speed for doing this method so it's very quick it's very effective and the yield is very good so without further ado let's hop into the game and I'll show you exactly where to go and what to do to farm these nature mints so I'm gonna start the game outside of the water fighting dojo which is uh, the Tower of Water on Challenge Beach you can see it on the map here and you want to hit head directly behind this tower and head north so as you can see an island in the distance here with one single tree on it that is our target here so this is where we're going to be going it's through Insula Sea and um, we want to try and dodge this Sharpedo as well these Sharpedos are crazy like literally I've seen some videos on Twitter of Sharpedos coming on land and chasing people so let's hope that doesn't happen in this one but we'll just check and uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. So this is the island up ahead. Insula Sea is where the area is. And once we get to the island, I'll pull the map up so you can get a good idea of where this island's located in the grand scheme of things in the Isle of Armour Ocean. And as you can see on the map there, this is exactly where you want to be. Um, and you can't really miss the island if you're heading directly north from the, the dojo. And there are a number of spots around this island that specifically spawn the sparkling objects. There is one behind the tree here that is always a Galerica twig. There's a sprig of mint. So there we go. There's our first one. Then the next one is just up ahead here. You're going to get other items besides the mints. So that was a jar of honey. There's a sprig of, of lax mint. And there should be one more just beside the den here. And there, sprig of hasty mint. So we've picked up all the items. Now, what do we do? Okay, so you want to come to a den. I've already dropped a wishing piece in this den. You want to drop a wishing piece in this den. You want to do the date skip glitch. 
um, invite others. You don't need to be online. Come down to your system, system settings, date and time, skip the day forward one day and then come out of the den, exit it. That will trick the game into thinking 24 hours have passed. Now to spawn the items, you're going to have to save your game at this point and then you're going to have to close out of the game completely because otherwise the items just will not respawn. Uh, the date skip glitch on its own is just not enough. So you need to reset the game and then come back into it um, like this. And then we will go around the island one more time and we'll come back over to this tree. And you can see that the Galerica twig is there. So it's a, and a sprig of serious mint this time. So that's, I, I mean, like, Honestly, I, I when I found this island, I did a bunch of testing with this before I put this video out just to make sure that you are going to be having the best kind of method possible to farm these mints if you need them. And this is, I, I honestly couldn't believe how good it was. And oh, we actually find a diglet on our travel. So that is excellent. And uh, we'll pick up this last one and uh, a cl Dose of energy powder, and there's one more down here, which is right be that, beside the den, and gentle mint. Um, so that's excellent. So we're just repeating this process over and over again, and we're going and picking up all of the items from these six spots around the island. So there's one behind the tree, and one in front of the tree, and then you're gonna make your way around. There's another one there, and another one just beside the den. So we're gonna continually do this. Now, I did this method for this recording 30 times. Um, uh, I will just say that there was four occasions when I reset the den, came back in and went around and picked up all the items. There were four occasions where I didn't find a single mint. But four out of 30 attempts is not too bad. Okay, so that's you're looking at about a 77% um, success rate every time you reset the game and and respawn these items 77 percent of the time from my findings you are going to be finding a mint on the island and uh, it's not normally just one mint so i did the math with it and i did 30 times and i yielded 62 mints in total which is literally about on average two mints per reset so you're looking at really if you're doing it 30 times 60 mints 60 times 50 battle points that's 3000 battle points that's an insane yield you're going to be getting and i worked it out the the quickest time or an average quick time to reset run around pick all of the items up come back to the den do the date skip glitch save reset your game and then come back into the game was about 1 minute 26 seconds I clocked that in as so that roughly works out if you do 24 minutes of just solid resetting picking these items up saving the game resetting coming back in doing that for 24 minutes you should do this about 30 times and that will yield you roughly around 60 mints now that is going to vary of course uh, it, I think it's a lot down based to RNG but the odds from my sample size that I've kind of done indicate that more times than not you're going to get uh, one or more mints every time you do this but if you do it and there's a couple of runs where you you do not get a mint from this run don't give up just keep going with it I, honestly this is an incredible method to try and uh, make sure that you are farming these mints it's very easy to do We've, you've got everything that you need here You've got the den to reset the date and everything you need to do this method really quickly. Now the items, the different items that you are going to find on this island that I've come across. So there's the dose of energy powder, there is the jars of honey, I found wishing pieces, obviously the mint and that is it. You're not going to find anything other than these items. So um, it is literally going to be uh, just a mint farming island. The tree there, you can get pomeg berries only from that tree. Um, and occasionally, there will be one of the NPC characters that does pop up. And um, this was quite handy, actually. I uh, bumped into this 
this NPC character and after I got my mint, she wanted to trade a Marowak. So I hopped back into my Pokemon home while uh, doing this and uh, I got myself a nice Alolan Marowak. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone whilst doing this guide um, and, and keep an eye out for her. She popped up um, no, uh, t two times when I was doing this method. So two times out of the 30 attempts that I was doing. Um, so she should appear at least once throughout your run, however many times you do it. Now this is not a very tedious method at all. It's not time consuming and the yield is incredible. You're going to be getting a lot of the mints that you need. You can see here from my list, I've got the Lonely Mint, Naughty, Brave, Bold, Impish, Max, Relaxed, Modest, Mild, Rash, Quiet, Calm, Gentle, Careful, Sassy, Timid, Hasty, Naive and 11 serious mints which is nuts which is an absolute crazy amount of mints so i mean and that is just from my run of of 30 times doing this through that was not including my previous testing that i did of this uh, this method so I think that wraps everything up that I wanted to discuss on this video. We've talked about the sample range that I've tested. I'm happy enough with this sample size to put this video up for you guys. And I feel like there's a lot of you out there that will find this really beneficial. So what you want to do is come to the island, pick the items up, save, um, sorry. So what you want to do is come to the island, pick all the items up that you've seen in the video locations. There's six of them around the island. Then you want to come to the den, drop a wishing piece into it, do the day skip glitch, save in front of the den, reset your game, come back in and rinse and repeat. And then you're going to get yourself as many mints as you want and you don't need to spend the battle points or waste them on mints like I have been doing and you can keep them for other purposes because we might have other things that we can spend these on especially in Crown Tundra and there's always battle items that are useful to buy with them in place of the mints that I'm constantly wasting them on. So. I hope you found it useful my friends, if you have please do drop a like on the video and um, do subscribe if you're new to the channel for more of this sort of content and if you know anyone that is a competitive Pokemon player or a casual player that likes to have certain natures on their Pokemons and does struggle to get the mints, maybe doesn't play online so doesn't have a wealth of battle points at their disposal, please share this video with them, let them know about this method, it is probably going to be the easiest method that will going to have access to uh, within Pokemon Sword and Shield so I'm really happy to be sharing it with you guys and I hope you just find it useful so if you've got any comments or questions do leave them in the comment section down below I will happily answer anything that you've got um, queries about and um, we will leave it there my friends so again thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and I'll see you all for the next one so take care of yourselves be kind to each other and until next time bye bye